All right, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. You guys know what time it is. We're going to be discussing Pepe, see what is happening with the price, and of course, what we could be expecting as we do go further into this week ahead. Um, if you guys are enjoying these updates, which you seem to be doing, you know, smash that like button. It keeps me going and keeps me pumping out these updates for you guys. But guys, look at the market today. We know at this point what happened yesterday. You know, we saw a massive, massive flush, you know, um, you know, to shake out, you know, the weak hands. But you're seeing the market picking up once again. You know, seems like, you know, we're back to where we left off. And honestly, you know, if you're looking at the prices, that is what it's looking like right now. And if you're looking at pretty much everything, you know, up double digits, majority of the coins. And you can see Pepe up 30.1%, guys. Um, and, you know, I discussed something similar yesterday in our update, you know, obviously, Obviously, the importance of Bitcoin closing into the 63k zone and you know Bitcoin was able to close um, you know its daily candle at $63,000 and you know we have seen the market pushing back up so you know you could pretty much see and you know this should be a continuous reminder again you know I um, talk quite a bit but um, you know this is where the newcomers are try to teach people as to what really happens in the crypto space and how you don't want to get shaken out so you're seeing Pepe up 30.1% on the daily time frame with the price currently sitting at 76.72 still about five zeros in front of the price up 30 percent in all three comparatives market cap at 3.2 billion dollars like i said back where we left off and the 24 hour trading volume currently sitting at almost three billion dollars absolutely amazing stuff happening you know for the price of pepe as well as the entire market but you know the question that i'm getting um you know recently is could we see pepe reaching another new yearly high potentially reach testing you know some levels we haven't seen for quite some time and honestly the next few hours are very critical because obviously if that happens you know we could see more upside right now because the way pepe currently is holding and i'm going to explain as to what exactly i mean but before i get into that as always just a quick disclaimer anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto so if we're looking at some um you know numbers um, you can see the holder count is increasing and again guys you know this is not a surprise so what we saw happen over the past you know few hours especially after that massive flush uh, we did see um, you know Bitcoin's price um, yesterday obviously that impacted the entire market what we saw happen was a lot of money from altcoins including meme coins flowing back into BTC so you know the question that I was getting in um, you know my video yesterday is why is the holder count decreasing you know the reason as to why that was the case is because people um you know tend to move their um you know coins into btc you know when there is uncertainty and you know the fear is there and you know that was explaining to me why you know we did see the holder count decreasing but now what we're starting to see is bitcoin dominance is starting to pull back down which is um you know causing a lot of altcoins to explode with this bitcoin momentum but you know we're seeing a lot of money coming out of btc back into alts as of now so that of course is really really nice to see if if you want to look at the holder count it's currently sitting at 173,779 holders as of March the 6th you know a huge number of course but you know, in comparisons to Shiba Inu as of now you know that is still you know barely anything but you know could this get to that spot if you know the momentum carries on um you know i don't see why not um especially with this momentum that it has right now but again you know it is a long stretch but let's take it a step further see what is happening um you know with the price of the price um see with the price of the price can you guys believe it you know when i'm really really excited i don't know how to speak but you know if you're looking at btc right now you guys can see book why, what am I saying, guys? My apologies. Well, you're looking at Bitcoin pushing back up to $67,000. And now what the craziest thing is the fact that, you know, if Bitcoin is able to close its daily candle at this level or even higher, we could see an all time high even in the next few hours to come. And because, you know, if you're looking at the all time highs, guys, you know, that's just a move of about 3.68%. And honestly, you know, the original retest towards its all time high, you know, 
usually that does tend to be a massive resistance uh, causes you know quite a bit of panic um, and shakeouts do usually happen and I think that has happened I think we could be pushing officially towards a new all-time high you know above a $69,000 which could be absolutely insane of course but now if you're looking at Pepe look at this guys you know we kind of talked about this yesterday but what has happened even after our yesterday's update is worthwhile noting and shows that this momentum for meme coin specifically is not just done yet you know the overall meme coin market cap in terms of the entire market cap combined for all meme coins is around 65 billion dollars and i think we could be approaching the 100 billion dollar mark as well uh, with the momentum that we're seeing right now so let's switch to the hourly time frame because that's what I want you guys to take a look at right now not the daily time frame so beautiful beautiful recovery like this recovery right here if you caught that you should be smiling right now and I'm sure you are I don't even need to say that but you know since February 26th I continuously want the newcomers to understand you know the move uh, that you know we have seen so you can pretty much see this for yourself since the 26th of February and all the way up to March 5th so we are looking at about a week and a half you saw Pepe run up 471.5% and of course you know we know what happened with Bitcoin we saw a massive flush and of course Pepe is going to react to that and if you want to put this move also into perspective you could see Pepe fell down about 42.5% but going back to what I said you know if you caught this move guys if you caught this and you know picked up some Pepe around that support line which was a resistance at one point you are upright you're up right now 65% so earlier you would have been up 65% just a few hours ago we're seeing a little bit of a minor pullback but honestly guys it wants to break out and kill another zero we discussed this you know prior to this dip that we had seen you know I said you know we could see Pepe pushing up and you know um, killing one more zero knocking another zero out of its price and as of now it's starting to look like that is really close to happening about a 32.3 percent move from the current price levels and you know obviously when we get into price discovery mode things can really move up quite fast and in order for us to get into a price discovery mode that's just a move of about 15.69 percent so you know if bitcoin right now in the next few hours uh could push above this resistance where we're currently facing or towards an all-time high even before we close at the daily candle i think we could see pepe hitting a new all time high which is insane to even think about the fact that you know you, pepe has just been killing it recently as well as a lot of other meme coins especially with token guys it with token has caught me by surprise because i saw that thing go from three cents all the way to where it's at right now but you know that just shows you know meme coins are really attractive you know a lot of people are interested in them but where could we honestly see pepe going up to because of course you know the market cap right now guys you know what i would suggest hunt you know i would really really suggest a lot of people to put your stop losses in place you know this move that we have seen kind of is really bullish for the price of pepe reason as to why i say this is because you know as i've said to you guys before you know when you go straight up forever that's not sustainable you know those types of moves are not sustainable but now the fact that we have seen the dip this could you know push the price of pepe higher uh, the fact that we had seen a little bit of a cool off so you know i think the next few hours are very very critical but i'm very very optimistic that we could see about um, you know four zeros for uh, the price of Pepe very very soon uh, as to what I'm uh, discussing if everything goes as planned which I think it will but you know if you're looking at the market cap of Pepe right now it is already at about 3.2 billion dollars and it's you know starting to uh, you know battle it out with some big boys like V chain you know OKB render Caspa but would not be surprised if we do push towards four billion dollar market cap so what I would recommend you guys doing now is you know play it very very carefully you know have stop losses set in place you know the reason as to why you want to have stop losses set in place is because if you think the price is going to continue to rise uh, and uh, you know you could just hold your uh, Pepe at that point if you don't want to lock in profits but you know 
the beauty of a stop loss right now is that you know in case we do see another flush you know another manipulation which can happen newcomers need to be aware of this this is normal in the crypto space if that happens your stop loss will be uh, you know hit and you are able to you know um, still obtain majority of your profit so that's something that you guys want to be doing you know obviously if the price breaks into all-time highs you know you just increase your stop loss over and over and that's like a strategy um, that I would use if you don't want to lock in profits right away uh, and I did that in the past so that's something that you guys can think about but uh, let me know down below what you guys personally think um, and yeah I appreciate each and every one of your guys' support love you all see you tomorrow in crypto zx and peace out